Hello everyone and welcome back again to On How Channel. My name is Anas and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment and if you are wondering why is that because simply I'm working for you. And in this video I will show you how to add store legal pages and policies to your Shopify store. And the legal pages are actually a must have in your Shopify store. Especially if you want to sell on uh, third party platforms like uh, Google Shopping. If you don't have those particular pages and policies on your Shopify store and easily accessible from the footer or the header menu you will not be accepted. And not just for those reasons, Google search engine or other search engines as well, they will not give you priority when it comes to rankings for your Shopify store. If you do have a product and you did optimize the product for SAO, even if a potential customer did search on Google search engine or other search engines as well uh, for the particular product by using the same exact keywords, your product page or Shopify store will not be shown on the search page. Because you don't have those legal pages on your Shopify store, so the search engine does not want anything to do with you, does not want to recommend you to customers. So having these legal pages is a must actually right now. And it's really easy and straightforward to add them. It's not something complicated. Actually, they will provide you with a template that you can just create in a single click. And I mean Shopify. But for other legal pages, you will need to access them from elsewhere. And no worries, I will give you an example that you can just copy and change the name and email and some numbers and add it to your Shopify store. You don't have to write it from scratch. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, I'm accessing the Shopify dashboard. So the first thing you're going to do is head over to the settings right here at the bottom left corner, simply click on it. And after that, scroll down to the policies right here. You should see it at the bottom of the page. Simply click on it and it will show you the store policies, including refund policy, uh, privacy policy, terms of service, uh, shipping policy. You will not be able to create it directly from here. That's why I said I would provide you with alternative. You can just copy it and paste it in here. And the alternative is actually from Shopify themselves. And you have to do some changes to the text, obviously, including some emails that will be yours, obviously, or for your Shopify store and some numbers, including the shipping days and the shipping rates and so on. And below it right here, the contact information. And you can create this just from the Shopify store from here, actually. So let's just scroll all the way up and check the first one, which is the refund policy. And by the way, these are not uh, legal advices or anything. And by clicking on the create from template here, you actually agree to disclaimer, which is the disclaimer that the Shopify store showing you right here, as you can see. So make sure you do read this. And basically they just told you that we are not affiliated with all the information that you do provide on your Shopify store, including the things that you will create from this template, which is really obvious. So let's just get to it and create the first one. So obviously just click on create from template and after a couple of seconds, you will see the refund policy created automatically. And by the way, you don't have to use the exact information that's provided by Shopify in here. You can actually modify anything in here. And there is some things that you need to modify actually. For example, the return address right here. So you will need to fill out this information with the return address obviously and the email as well because it will paste in the email for your account well, i mean shopify account directly in here so if you have a separated email that's uh, branded based on your domain name for example bestgadgetstore.com then you will need to replace this with the email and the same as the second one in here but for the information below right here i think they are all similar so i don't think you really need to change this because for example this european union right here 14 days calling off period uh, that's a must actually you must have it and 14 days exactly not 20 or 30 days so you don't have the right to change these. You can change them, however, they might play against you in the future. So just keep them like this. And the second one below it, which is the privacy policy. And it's really easy. The privacy policy is basically a disclaimer on how do you use the information that's provided to you by the customers that's buying from your Shopify store, whatever the case is. So let's just click on create from templates and it will be created right here, as you can see. And there is some private information in here. I might have to blur out and as you can see it does mention every kind of information that your Shopify store collects from the visitors for example as you can see the version web browser IP address time zone cookie information and so on that's really obvious and that's the case for every website now right now not just a Shopify store and there is some information that you need to change for example 
uh, right here the fulfillment if you are using a uh, supplier like Zendrop or Spocket or whatever the case is make sure you do mention them in here because those information will be shared with them as well because the shipping will have the name and the address for the customer and the shipping and the fulfillments will be handled by the third party supplier so make sure you do mention them in here and there is a lot actually so all the things that you need to change are in capital letters right here as you can see so make sure you do read this and see what the things that you need to change and the things that you shouldn't and the next option in here which is terms of services and by the way i will show you how to add these uh, pages legal pages to your uh, shopify folder as well as the menu on the header so no worries i will show you how to add them as well and the terms of services so the terms of services is like a, a contract that you sign in with your customer when he uses your shopify store to buy the product or whatever the case is he agrees to those terms so think of it just like a contract that you make with your customers and let's just create a create from template and it will be created right away as you can see and there is some information in here that you think uh, i think you need to change i think that's down below i don't remember yeah it's down below right here this one so you will need to change this information like the email as i said if you have a, a different email that's uh, for your shopify store a branded email make sure to change it from here as well as the trading name if you have a company and the business address phone address and so on so make sure you do change this and the option below it as i said is the shipping policy that will not be created from here you cannot create it from a, a template by just clicking on a button and as i told you i will show you an alternative just to copy the shipping policy and paste it in here and to do that simply scroll down the description and you will see a link from shopify and just access it and you will see this blog right here as you can see which is from shopify and if you scroll down below you will see a shipping policy right here that you can just copy and use on your shopify store so let's just scroll down and copy the text on the shipping policy right here and let's just right click copy and get back to the shipping policy and pass it in here and as i said there is some informations that you need actually to change like for example it says all orders are processed between x and x this x is a number obviously so you need to change these based on the supplier that are you using so the supplier might take uh, like 15 days or a week so make sure you do change these dates to the shipping duration that's provided to you by your supplier and as well as this one right here so make sure to change the options for the shipping for each option that you, ha you have which is DHL, APS or whatever you use and to the days that will take to the arrive to the customer as well as the, the pricing right here so make sure you do go through this line by line because there is some things that you need to change uh, delivery hours as well the uh, available days and whenever you see an x that means it's a number and below it right here is the contact information and you can just create this by clicking on a button so let's just click on it and it will show some information that has to do with my address and name and so on i will remove this and the last thing you will need to do is simply clicking on the save button at the top right corner right here so simply click on save and all the policies will be saved directly and the next step is how to add those policies or legal pages to your shopify folder and to do that simply close this and head over to online store right here simply click on it and click on teams and click on customize right here and after that click on footer right here at the left menu simply click on it and it will take you to the footer and i already made a video on how to add the order tracking if you are interested in how to add order tracking page make sure to check out my channel and make that video as well and without using any apps or anything like that is completely standalone by using your own code and in here below the order tracking we will add the legal pages and the shipping policy and so on so the first thing you're going to do is click on the widget that you want to add the legal pages to it however if you don't have one you can click on add block right here and it will show you menu or text or whatever the case is if you want to add one that's similar to this one right here click on add menu however i already have it so let's just edit just this one so simply click on it and after that head over to the right right here and click on footer menu as you can see simply click on it and it will take you to the footer menu when you can add the new ones or even create new ones so let's just add the legal policies that we just created so simply click on add menu item right here and it will show you the name and you don't have to write anything simply click on search or paste and it will show you policies right here as you can see as the last option simply click on it it will show you all the policies that we did create so let's just go for the first one which is privacy policy 
and let's just click on add and let's just do that again and add the second one which is the shipping or refund policy so we did add them all to the footer menu and the last option is simply clicking on the save button right here after that all the menus will be displayed here so let's just without having to reload the page i was going to reload the page but here they are as you can see they are all added in here so the search and order tracking page was already here so the new ones that were added is privacy policy refund policy and shipping policy and as well as terms of services and to add them at the top of the page if you want to add them just like this in this case i did add the order tracking at the header menu as well as the fuller menu and to do that simply head over to the navigations right here click on online store the navigations and you should see the fuller menu and the main menu you can click on the main menu and you can add them as well or you can do a drop menu actually for example let's just create a new one for example this one and uh, let's just call it policies and uh, let's just link it to the home page uh, just for demonstration and uh, let's just add menu and we can create another one and let's just click on search and policies and privacy policy and let's just click on add after that if you click on the dots right here the small dots you can click this and drag it however you can drag it to the right if you drag it a little bit to the right it will be a sub menu and drop it in here and after that let's just click on save and let's just check out our store right now and here it is as you can see it says policies and if you click on it it will show you the sub menu that we did create which is privacy policy and you can do the same for the others right here however you get the idea now i don't have to waste your time talking about the same thing that it show you right now so that's how you add store policies and legal pages to your shopify store easily without having to use a separated app or anything like that and as i said in the beginning of the video i'm working for you so if you have any questions or any requests make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my instagram right here below me i don't reply to each comment and if you are wondering again why is that because simply i'm working for you otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you in the next one